So you do really do seem to love uh, basements. Uh, <laughs> this movie, uh, the, a big part, a big chunk of this movie is uh, is in a basement. So why this? Uh, is this just a, a coincidence or something <laughs> important for you? Yeah, you know, I guess I don't even in this movie. I don't even the, the important part wasn't that it was in a basement. The important part that it was there was no windows. That I, you know, in the script, if you read the script, it says windowless room. It doesn't say basement. It says windowless room, windowless room. They, they don't know where they are. They don't know, you know, are they above, below? They don't know what. Where are they? And then somebody's house? Are they in some a building? Where are they? And that part of that mystery was fun for me. Okay. And But I do think being in confined spaces is the thing that excites me. Yeah. For the suspense and mm -hmm. these things. And you also seem to love, uh, well, we know you really love Philadelphia, yeah. also because it's your city. So after the, the visit was uh, in, in Pennsylvania, some yeah. random location, but this movie is, uh, I, I saw the skyline because I visited Philadelphia. So I said, <laughs> oh my God. And uh, so why also these, uh, th this thing that you really love to? Well, I, you know, as a writer, you write about um, uh, the things that you know. I, I, I forgot where, who said this, but they said, it was a great line. It says, well, writers should write about the things they don't know about the things they know. Mm -hmm. So, like, the, the, you know, you look around and you, you have an understanding of the world around you, your town, the way the people are, but what don't you know about them? And, and think about that and write about that, those things. And that combination is really beautiful. Yeah. And um, can you talk about the relationship uh, with the Jason Bloom and Bloomhouse? Because mm. this is the second movie with them. Uh, and mm. I think that maybe, uh, well, I would like to know uh, how he's working with a very low budget uh, mm -hmm. after big blockbusters and, mm -hmm. you know, some big Hollywood movies. I, you know, Jason, uh, I, I bring Jason on to the movies because I really admire his taste and I, I like the way he thinks, you know. So. Uh, and Jason has all his movies with his company, and, I, and uh, it's amazing what he's done. For me, I literally love his taste. I want, I want to hear his advice. So I'm making these movies. I'm, I, I pay for them. I make, I make them. And Jason is kind of my big brother that I turn to for advice and say, what do you think about this? And what do you, what, I'm thinking about that. And uh, we get along so well. He's a, kind of a, a champion of the original filmmaker. Um, and I think that that's a, a rare thing in Hollywood. Yeah. And Kevin reminds me a lot of uh, Legion, which is Charles Xavier uh, which song. One? Legion, it's a superhero. It's his uh, uh -huh. Charles Xavier uh, son. Uh -huh. He has uh, a lot of different personalities and something like that. I see. So I, I don't know, but maybe it seems really a meta casting, uh, casting James McCavery for the part. Uh -huh. So. I guess this wasn't uh, uh, something you really wanted because you know maybe Legion or these things, but did you know about that and mm. what do you think about I, it? I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't well, look into it. I'm, I'm excited to, to learn yeah. uh, about this character. And how did you decide to, to cast him? You know, I, you know it, it, it's a feeling that I wanted somebody that, that the audience felt um, positive about in terms of like that, that he's a good guy, that the audience thinks he's a good guy and then have the good guy playing this darker part. Because I did want to really emphasize the humanity. I think one of the, the interesting things about the movie is it starts out kind of you know, scary and demonizing th this, this, this person, and then by the end you actually feel a deep connection. Mm -hmm. And one, your, one of your talents, uh, many talents, is uh, discovering new talents. So what is uh, the biggest uh, or the most important advice that you gave mm -hmm. uh, to Anya? You know, when I'm casting someone who's new, you know, and usually they're younger, right? They're on the younger side, they're kids or teenagers, and in Anya's class she was, you know, 19 years old, that kind of thing, and you, you want to build a, a, a work ethic that's really great, you know, so that's the first thing I impart to younger, younger actors, but a kind of a start the beginnings of the, the craft, you know, I tend, like I've said this before to young, to young actors, I said, you know, There's two, two types, you can, be an, you can be an actor, you can be a movie star, and movie stars are people we, we want to be, we, we aspire to be, and actors are people that we see ourselves in, and mm -hmm. I, I, I urge the, the, the kids to be actors. Thank you very much. Thank you, it's a pleasure.